Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can import that design 3D model to Unreal Engine 5 and how you can use it. So without any further ado, let's begin. Before we start, please, please, if you want to help me and you liked my videos, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. So in here, I did open up the CG Trader like in last video that we download a cool 3D model that that is rigged, animated and low poly and PBR. But no, I want to download a very bad object that doesn't have uh, PBR that doesn't have that, that it's not rigged and it's not low poly and I want to show you how you can edit that and use it in your project for that I did download this helicopter okay so it has a, an FBX it has some images not textures it's just I need some images it has STL and it has OBJ file and most of the 3D model that you download has FBX file. So for using this, first of all, you should import it in Blender to check it out, right? So for that, let's just go to Blender, delete everything. In here, you can see there is a light, there is a cube, and there is a camera in here. Hit A on your keyboard and it will select everything. And you can see all of them is selected here. Hit delete and uh, delete this collection as well. And this is an empty project in Blender. So go to File, go to Import, and go to FBX find your folder and this is our file let's just open it and import it and you can see right off the bat it's too big okay so we can't use it in Unreal Engine 5 that's just one problem in it uh, when they are designing this kind of model if he or she is not professional they will create it this much big with a lot of polygons that we don't even need right so if you click in here, you can see the colors as well, okay? So let's just zoom in a little bit. Hit A on your keyboard to select everything. You can see everything is selected. Hit S on your keyboard and make it a small. And now you can see it's a small node. With middle mouse, we can go around it. There are some objects in this that we don't need it, like this one. Let's just delete this one. And this is our helicopter, right? So first thing to do, just select one of these objects, for example, the main body. Hit tab on your keyboard. And in here, we you can see we are in edit mode. And in edit mode, if we go here and enable statistic, okay? And you can see the number of triangles. It has, just for the body, it has like 50,000 triangles. We don't need that much. So I will show you how you can optimize it. And you can see all this 3D model in whole, it has like 100, 120,000 triangles. It's a lot. But with Nanite, we can, uh, it will be okay. But let's just show you how you can, uh, if we import this one to Unreal Engine, what will happen? So for doing that, go to file. This time, I want to export it because the original model is too big. So I did a scale it down. Go to file, export, FBX. And in here, I want to put it on my desktop. I, I, I will create a new folder in this folder. I want to call it a scaled one. Okay, because we scale it, right? So let's just export it. And now let's just go to Unreal Engine in here. Right click, click import and open up that one. Okay, let's just open it in here. If you want to build a nanite, I don't want to do it right now. I will show you when you should do it. Click import all. So now that is imported, you can see it create a lot of material. It add those, those textures and it has a lot of hearts. That's okay. So let's just click on this one and this one and bring it in our scene in here. Let's just make this a little bit small. Bring it out. It's too big, right? So again, we should change its size again. Let's just change the speed of the camera. And you can see it takes too much time to create the materials and shaders. But when it's built, it, you can see there are some parts in here that it's not coming. It's not okay. So that is a bad design. You can see it. Okay. This part in here, it's not imported well. What is the problem? I will show you what's the problem. Let's just wait until it uh, compiles the shaders. So you can see now that the shader is compiled. This part is okay, but if you go in front, you can see there are some parts that is missing. So that is a bad design. And I will show you how you can fix it. There is a lot of free stuff on internet that has these problems. So you can see there is a lot of problem with it. And it's too big. Okay, let's just again go back to Blender. And in here, first of all, hit A on your keyboard. After that, hit S. Make it smaller again. It's too big. Okay. So what is the next? What we should do? Um, first of all, you can see in here, there is a lot of material just one for this helicopter, right? You can see there is a lot of material and that's not okay. If you want to export your game for a mobile, that will bring down your FPS, okay? So we want just one, two, three, or just five material for all of these objects, not this much material. So in here, 
if we go to material in here you can see there is a lot of material and our real engine tried to uh, import all of them and it did a good job in here but this much material it's not okay okay so in blender what i'm gonna do one way if you have a 3d model designer just tell it that we want our 3d model to be game ready okay uh, the most problem that this has is that they didn't UV unwrap it from the start. They just create a 3D object and that's not okay. That won't work for game. So first of all, let's just bring this panel up. Click in here and go to shader editor. Shader is exactly like our materials. Okay, it has base color. It has surface. Let me show you. It has metallic. It has specular. It has roughness and all of that. Okay, first thing that I'm going to do in here. Let's just bring this down. So for merging all of these materials, let me click in here. You can see there is a lot of material in here and you can see it in here as well. For merging all of these material to just one, uh, some texture like base color, like low roughness map, like uh, metallic map, like we have it in last video, right? It doesn't have it. It's just created with some material. With a lot of material, they did create this, right? And we want to export it as a texture so it won't drop our fps fps of our, of our game so let's see how we can export all of this material in just three or four textures the easy way to do it if you go to edit if you go to preferences and go to add-on in here search for simple bake okay mostly you won't have this simple bake because it's a plugin that is uh subscription based right so you should give 16 dollar per month i think or year i don't know you need this for this kind of stuff because it is a big project right so you need this simple bake or you can learn uv unwrapping this simple bake will uv unwrap your project with just some click okay so if you if you want to be a 3d model designer you can learn uv unwrapping but it's too hard to do for us that uh, we want to create a game not 3d model right so with this simple bake we can bake all of these to some textures so first of all for doing that hit a on your keyboard to select everything in here go to render option click in here change the render engine from ev to cycle so in cycle we can bake the textures right and in here i don't want the sampling i just want this simple bake okay and in here i want the diffuse what is the diffuse diffuse is just our base color it, in here they call it diffuse right First, we need diffuse, we, we need metal map, we need roughness map, and we need normal map, okay? Just select these four. If you want to have, for example, a specular, a mission, and all of that, just check it. But these four is enough for our project. Next, because our project is a lot big with a lot of detail, I will choose 6K, okay? This is 4K, this is 1K, and this is the size of the image that we want to export our 3D model textures on, right? Next, click in here for exporting bake, but it won't allow us because we didn't save our file as a Blender file. So let's just go to file, save as. In here, let's just create another folder. I want to call it Blender 1, okay? So I'll click on it to open it. And in here, I want to call it Heli for helicopter or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Let's hit save. And now we can tell it to export bakes. So it will bake our texture in just three or four images, not 10 or 20 materials, right? And after that, export mesh as well. It will export our um, a static mesh in just one FBX file and it will be okay. Just check these two and go down. Next thing, click on this new UV map. So it will create a UV map for us. Click in here and say a smart UV project Atlas. And that is important next the uv unwrap margin click on it and point one put point point one in here it, it's more than enough it's the uh, margin between two objects right in our texture map next because we have um, multiple objects in our scene one of them is door one of them is this one of them is the gun and all of them is separated because in game we, we need it separated right click on multiple object to one texture set and after that everything is finished and click on bake pbr map and with that you will have it when you click on this it will take too much time inform me like 15 minutes to export those tech, uh, uv maps right click on it and wait until it's finished so i it finished exporting and i did import it to unreal engine 5 just like before i did just import it with right clicking and importing and now you can see each create three texture for us let's just double click on it and you can see it create three texture one one of them is for 
ba base color one of them is for normal and one of them is for roughness okay so no and it create a material let's just double click on it it's a simple material it's just have base color it has metallic and it has normals and that's more than enough right so in here let's just add it here and the material automatically in there and we just have one material for all of these objects you can see it it's cool right so we don't have all of those materials we just we have just one material for all of these objects and we can now open up the door we can uh, rotate this rotator in here and we can do all of this stuff easily right <laughs> but again there is problem in here as well you can see it again these parts it's missing what is the problem okay so the problem in here is that they did a bad design let's just go back to blender in blender there is no problem but there is problem let's just show you how you can fix it it's all about the normals for example the body the body has the problem click on the body or the main in here and hit tab on your keyboard what i want to show you is how you can enable normal so go here and click on this normal and you can see all the normals and the problem that we had in Unreal Engine is because of the normal. So if we zoom in, in here, you can see in here, let me, you can see some of the, some part of the body, the normal of them is not okay. And they are inside, okay? Like this one, this one is, the normal of this one is not outside. It is inside of it, okay? So it won't show up in Unreal Engine. You can see in here. So this part that has normals is okay. This part that has normal, this part has normal, it's okay. But these parts are not okay. So how we can fix them? Just hit A on your keyboard to select everything. And after that, Control Shift N to recalculate normals. Okay. So now if we zoom in here, you can see all the normals calculated correctly. Everything is cool now. And we should do this for all of this object. So after we recalculate the normals and everything is okay hit a again on your keyboard to select everything and go to again this render option render properties in here and go to simple bake again and in here just select these all the options will be the same and it will be saved you don't need to uh, do it again because you do, did it once and now again click on bake pb pbr maps and it, it will take some time to create it just wait so the exporting is finished now i added to our to unreal why drag and draw no, let's just add it to our scene and you can see everything is cool and there is no problem with it right so next thing that i'm going to show you is how you can decrease the amount of polygons so for example for the main body if we hit click it and hit tap so one way to do it you can just select each part hit tap and you can zoom in in here for example you can see a lot of triangles in here and let's just go here on some part you can go and delete some of these parts that you don't need for example this one you can just go to edge mode in here and select this one for example or this one that is is a lot hit x on your keyboard and tell it to dissolve edges and you can see now we have one less uh triangle for example right so in here for example we don't need these and we don't need these so hold shift select both of them hit x on keyboard and tell it to dissolve edges okay it's same quality but it has less vertices and edges right so you can go around it and delete things that you don't need so for example you can see in here this part we won't see it if you're if you're in your game you won't see it up close you can decrease the amount of uh, amount of um, edges and vertices in here so you can see uh for example this one head tap and click on this one head tab again so you can see this one is a mess and it has a lot of triangle just for this one but doing that with one by one it's not okay it takes too much time so what we can do about there is some options in blender that can make this more optimized automatically but before doing that i want to show you another thing tricks okay so if you click in here you can see we have a gun over there you can see we have two guns that are exactly the same and mirrored so what we can do about that is that delete one of them and use the other one and mirror it in Unreal Engine so hit tab in here okay and for you to see it clearly I want to 
uh, disable all of these and just the guns okay and in here i want to delete one of them and use one of these and mirror it in Unreal engine okay so for selecting this one and don't uh, deleting it head tap to go to edit mode make sure that you are in edit mode click in here so you can see it in wireframe and select all everything head x on your keyboard and in here tell it to delete vertices and no it's deleted head tab again no we have just this gun that we can mirror it in Unreal engine and it will be easier easier to uv unwrap it or the simple bake will work faster again let's just bring all of them in go to this mode so we can see the colors the next thing for example on this gun i want to change the amount of triangles in it so uh, for doing that just select it go to modifier property in here and add a modifier in here and choose decimate what decimate modifier do it will decrease the amount of vertices in this object okay so for example you can see it has like twenty thousand faces in just one in just this gun and that's not okay and you can change the ratio change it until you are okay with it if you can see right now it has 14 14 000 and it's look okay and again we can go down again and everything is cool from here and here everything is look cool but we have less face counts so when you decrease that hit apply and now we have a gun that is game ready and it has a lot less uh, faces and polygons on there right so you can do it for everything in here so for example let me select this this door for example again go to modifier property and in here add a decimate modifier and change the ratio in here right now it has this much face count decrease it until you feel okay with it and i think that's cool now we have less faces in here click apply and when you done this for all of these objects in this uh, 3d model and after that you can again go to bake property in here and make sure you select everything click on this multiple so it will create just one material for all of uh, your object in here and click on bake and you can import it as a game ready project so that was it guys for this video i hope you liked it i hope it was useful for you please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>